what can we say when we see that a mode of thought is all structured around dualisms? Can we just discard it as reductionist? Or can we consider that dualism can be a way of speaking about a totality? My name is Rodrigo Guim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. We see in various different legacies of thought this tendency to make use of dualisms to speak of the human or even of the cosmic reality. Many religions like Christianity have in the dualisms of good and evil, as in Christian morality for example, one of its pillars. Other philosophies such as Taoism or Buddhism relate dualisms to the greatest totality, that is to say, dualisms in themselves are not the foundations for these legacies. They just point to something that is beyond them. Nietzsche has already pointed out to us several dualisms from Western Christian or Christianized societies. Secular Christian culture often works with dualisms even within the sciences without naming them directly. Therefore, without recognizing that they are working within very ancient legacies of thought. The dualistic way of thinking has often been considered pathological by Western medicine. Being was defined as the one capable of deciding between the true and the false between good and evil. But these categories are often nothing more than just categories that try to reduce events to similarities, to recognizable homogeneities. Michel Foucault said that one of the fundamental characteristics of Western consciousness is its binary way of operating. This binary mode will interpret, for example, the question of power as reduced to a property, that is, to have or not to have power, a total binarism. And if we often do see binarisms in practice happening in power relations, on the other hand, the vast majority of power relations cannot be reduced to a binarism. The dominations and resistances are multiple, and they are contradictory many times, where a resistance becomes, in the same act of occurring, a domination, or a domination only has its reach due to the forms of resistance that compose it. So it's also with the question of truth and the fact that we can't sum everything up to a true or false dualism. And that doesn't mean that they don't exist, or doesn't mean that we often don't have to take positions that we call true and struggle against false ones. The point is that what is called true or false is always a perspective, never a universal validity in philosophical universal terms for all entities. A truth can have universal validity in the very particular sense when it is only through the particular that we can affirm truths. This is not to fall into relativism. The struggle against absolutism of truth or the universalism of truth is not the affirmation of relativism, because relativism also participates in the same platonic paradigm that the true world can be separated from the false world. What we call reality is much more interwoven, much more complex than that. The theme of dualism is precisely the theme of the domination of morality in our production of truths about ourselves in the Western societies and in the world in which we live here. As long as there is morality, the dominance of the production of truth will be the dominance of a dualistic production, necessarily reducing everything and everyone. 
we speak of the opposition between continuities and discontinuities as if we could reach purity. The will to truth is expressed in terms of dualism because there is a fundamental essence of reality that is dualistic or because we inherit dualistic legacies of thought. There is no single answer to that question. It depends on the cultures we speak of. The very will to truth of factual demonstration of dualism as a foundation of reality cannot be separated from the history of a culture's legacy of thought. Culture is a key point. Without looking at how there are different cultures, discourses, subjectivities that reproduce or transform the relations, the ways of thinking, feeling, acting that are supported by dualisms, we fall into the possibility of just reproducing dualisms as if they were novelties. Dualisms are not things, they are relations, multiple and contradictory legacies, and it is because of the richness of their language that they reproduce. But that language is nothing without the ways of life, the cultural modes, not just the discursive practices by which they re reproduce. Recognizing and naming oppositions in us is very important, but there is always the danger of reifying the dominant ways of thinking and living when using dual forms of our dominant Western culture. There is no manual on how we can respond or act toward dualistic legacies of thought. We must challenge them because of their dominance and their restriction to our possibilities of thought and of life. Well, thank you so much. I hope you liked it. I'm coming back to the channel after a little rest that I needed. I want to thank my supporters on Apoyacy and Patreon. Without you, this work is not possible. Have a good week. See you next time.